Hey everyone, welcome to this week's Azure Infrastructure Update. It is the 11th of April and actually a pretty quiet week this week, so this should be super, super fast. Um, as always, if this is useful, a like, subscribe, comment and share is appreciated. Um, new videos this week. So I actually did a, a big deep dive all about Azure Key Vault, um, the ways we can use it, um, special considerations, best practices, key rotation. Uh, I covered all of that in that video. And then in a lot of my demonstrations when I use PowerShell, people have commented, why does your history look different? What are you using? And so I created just a quick video about PS Readline, which is the utility I use to actually enhance the day-to-day -day usage of PowerShell. So I kind of went into that and some of the things you can do. Let's get into the new features. Um, so on the compute side, really two features, all about saying that's really, really old. So the old Azure Cloud Service, this was one of the original services on the old Azure Service Manager, the ASM. And essentially what this is, is there's now this extended support version of the Azure Cloud Service. This is now running on Azure Resource Manager. So that gives me additional resiliency in terms of kind of the structures of the regions. I have role-based access control. I can do tagging. I can use Azure policy. I can hook into things like private link. I can use deployment templates. But it's not changing the way that old style Azure cloud service actually works. It's still kind of that web and the worker role. They're not changed at all. I still have my service definition, my service configuration, my service package, which again, have no changes. It's simply now saying, hey, I can take all of that investment I had done, but now instead of running it on the very, very old Azure Service Manager, I can now run it on Azure Resource Manager, and it hooks into things like Key Vault and for some of the components. The old style Azure Service Manager based cloud service is still there. It's now branded classic instead of the new ARM based, which is the extended support. So that is now GA. Note, just because there is this extended support version doesn't mean, hey, I want to use this. If you can, you want to move to things like app services or AKS or even virtual machine scale sets or service fabric something modern that has got investment that's getting new functionality. Yes, the cloud service has been brought forward to an ARM version, but it's not getting any investment. It's just, hey, you, you can carry on using it. If you can get off of it, fantastic. There is now this actual migration tool that's in public preview. What this does is it takes the cloud service from ASM, the classic, and it will do an in-place migration essentially to now make it this extended service, this ARM-based version. It's fully orchestrated. It's kind of this very easy deployment. I'm going to keep my same IP and DNS label. I can reuse all my existing stuff with no changes. It's just going to give me kind of that easy way to move to the ARM version. Of course, I don't have to use it. Um, I could just do a redeployment of my assets to that extended support version. But if I don't want to, if I want to kind of take what I have and just move it to the new ARM-based model with the extended support, there is this migration tool in public preview. Um, Azure Monitor Container Insights is now available for the Azure Arc-enabled Kubernetes. So remember, Container Insights gives us phenomenal information about our AKS environments in Azure. Hey, I can see my performance from all the different informations on the Kubernetes nodes. I have workbooks. I can get alerting. I can query. I can even scrape metrics from Prometheus. So that's all fantastic for stuff in AKS up in Azure. So remember, Azure Arc brings kind of that Azure management to resources outside of Azure. So the Azure Arc for Kubernetes is any CNCF compliant Kubernetes distribution could be running on premises, uh, could be running in other clouds, can now be managed by Azure. So I can use things like, hey, my Azure policy, uh, my RBAC, my tagging to my Kubernetes, wherever it may be, providing it has that Azure Arc for Kubernetes enabled on it. I can even do GetOps and through that Azure Arc configure it to say, hey, look at this Git repo, automatically pull down those declarative deployments I have in that repo 
and make it so within the cluster. Now, those container insights will also apply all that same visibility I normally have for my AKS clusters will now apply to my Kubernetes clusters that have been enabled for Azure Arc for Kubernetes. So that is now in public preview. And then no storage, no networking this week. Miscellaneous, start VM on Connect for Windows Virtual Desktop. So remember, Windows Virtual Desktop is kind of the Azure hosted, I can do VDI, I, uh, Windows 10 clients, for example, I can do multi-session on Windows 10, or I can have server-based, I can do desktop or app publishing. We have really two types of pools. So I can have a personal pool, which is where a particular session host is dedicated to a particular person. So John has this particular session host. Or it could be a pooled collection. I, it's a shared pool that when I connect, I just get connected to whatever session host is currently available. But obviously you pay money while VMs are running. So what this functionality now does is I can deprovision, I stop paying for the compute of the virtual machine, and then when I connect on that connect through the Windows client or the web client, it will actually go and start the virtual machine. It will tell me, hey, this is powering on, so it's gonna take a bit longer, but then I start paying the compute charges when I connect to it, and then I can use it. This is only for the personal pool, i.e. when it's a kind of a designated host for a particular person. I cannot do it for kind of that shared host pool, where it's just, hey, I connect to something. But for the personal, I can turn this on, I can deprovision them, and then it will start them when I connect. When I disconnect, it will not shut it down. It will not deprovision it. If I wanna do that, um, there are various automations out there. I can do things like VM tasks to shut down at certain times but just clicking shut down from within it will just shut down the OS, but it would not deprovision the resource. If I wanna deprovision it, I'm gonna to have to do other steps beyond that. But this is now public preview, so I can save some money and it will just start it when I actually need to use it. And then these Azure STIG solution templates. So STIG is this Department of Defense Cybersecurity Methodology. And what this really comprises of for both Windows and Linux running in commercial and Gov Cloud, it's a series of images that then use custom script extensions and then declarative configurations on. I will maintain it for both Windows and Linux to give me this one click, hey, I'm ready to go for this Department of Defense um, stick resource. And super quick, let's just, we can kind of see those. So if I actually go to the marketplace, I always like to try and get at least one demo in on these things. If I say create a resource, if I type in STIG, so we can see there's a STIG template for Linux and a STIG template for Windows. So if I was to select one of these things, we can say, hey, yep, yeah, okay, we have this complete solution template that's gonna help me achieve this Department of Defense STIG compliance. So it's gonna create, based on this image, and then, like I say, through custom script extensions, through this um, desired state configuration, it will actually then fully harden it and help me maintain that ongoing compliance rating. So it's gonna do the deployment, the monitoring, the maintenance to get this hardened virtual machine um, to meet those STIG requirements. So that is now out there. You can go and take a look at that. And that's it. So I said it was a super quiet week, um, super simple stuff. I hope that was useful. Um, as always, until next week, take care.